the September boxy charm for you guys. This is both my premium and my luxe box. These are not PR. These I pay for myself. We're going to go ahead and jump in because it's going to be kind of a long video. I also did a try on. I'll try to have timestamps down below. I'm going to unbox the Lux first, then my premium, and then do a try on of a mixture of both of the products and kind of come with my final thoughts at the end. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can hit that little red button if you like beauty videos, unboxings, and also I have social media if you're interested in following me over there. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. This month, the Lux had a different theme. So this one's called Fall Lux, and my version is 430. The first thing in here is the Rare Beauty Confident Energy Eyeshadow Palette. This is worth $25. I jacked up the box a little bit when doing the try-on. But this is what the palette looks like. I was actually surprised when I saw the palette in person just because of how beautiful it is. It looks kind of more plain when you see it on, you know, just a picture of it flat, but it actually has kind of like a raised, um, gra like little, like almost as if it's glass. Like if, you know, when something is encased in glass, like when they put dry flowers inside of something, that's kind of like the effect it gives. And I really like how, the like the pattern is kind of like really cool looking i i don't know when i opened it i was like wow that's that's a lot prettier than i thought it was this palette comes with a really nice little mirror and it comes with i think it's seven shades right no six shades but they are all shimmers so you would kind of have to pair this with another palette to kind of make it a little bit more functional unless you're okay with wearing all shimmer that being said the shimmer look at that look at that it just is stunning these shades just absolutely are just I was blown away by the quality of these these are amazing so the shade that you get on the shade that you see here is the shade you're gonna get on your lid and it just looks amazing so the quality mm, I almost want to get the other one but to be honest I'm trying to be on a low buy I'm trying to shop my stash more and you will see more videos like that coming from, from me on this channel and also on my Instagram because I really want to use what I have. Next thing is the, what I actually struggled with in this. And I actually had to just cut the video from... Um, from, from the whole video from my lashes. I struggle a lot with these MAC lashes. These are in the shade 83 Siren Lash. They're the ones that I have on. I had to unglue them, re-glue them. I just had a lot of issues today with my lashes. And these are $18. I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't seem like they're worth it to me. I rather prefer like um, the Makeup Geek ones or even the Lily Lashes. The $10 Lily Lashes are freaking life. So these MAC ones didn't really impress me. And then today was just not one of those good lash days. I just, you know when like it doesn't want to stick and you have issues or it's raised. Oh, it's so freaking annoying. I, I really need to get better at lashes, but it's, it, it's an issue. Next thing in here is the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop probiotic power whipped cream this is $57 I actually got this in my PR box as well the cream is so freaking nice it gives like a luminous finish to your skin I love the packaging it's almost like luminescence as well and Saturday skin their stuff is really really good I already have a few of their products and have really enjoyed it I'll probably give this away to a friend that needs moisturizer or put it in a giveaway for you guys which by the way if you guys haven't checked on my community page I will be doing a few giveaways I have one that just finished and I will be posting another one soon and that's just a way of giving back to you guys and you know I sometimes I feel really bad because it's like I, I can only pick one person to win you know so I don't want people to be disappointed but then I also want to give back next thing in here is probably gonna go into my next giveaway and this is by cab cosmetics this is the volume one contour I'm just going to put this to the side because I actually got it in the PR box and this is the one that I use in the try on just to kind of show you guys the way I've been using it I really like these powders are really nicely milled I love the fact that they're almost like a satin finish they're not like super like flat matte and it does come with a good variety that being said I said this in my PR video as well I feel like these contour shades are more bronze shades than contouring just because they're more on the warm side and they're not very cool toned and there are two versions of this volume 2 is more for deeper like tan to deep skin and this one is like from light to medium 
So that is that right there, and you'll see that on the try-on portion. Next thing in here, and that, that palette is $60. Next thing in here is the Adiago Not So Mini Flat Iron. This is like a medium-sized flat iron, and it's really nice. This is worth $99, and I'm going to be giving this one to my mom. I got one in my PR box, and I know that she would really appreciate it. I feel like these hot tools are always a plus, and I love the fact that this one isn't like too small or too big. It's like right there in between. Next thing in here is the new code defense drops. These are $35. I got one in my PR box as well. To be honest, I'm very like ticky Mickey about stuff and trying it out. So I haven't tried out the, the original one that I got in my PR box. And we'll see if, like I have to have somebody test this out first because I'm very picky about foods and tastes. So I don't, I don't know. Next thing in here, and those are $35. The next thing in here is the Lifestyle Co. Bamboo Body Polish. I actually opened up this in my PR one. I think I'm just gonna give this one away. It's a very watery, just like a, like it just looks like white milk in here. And I wish that it was like more grainy and thick. Those are the kind of body polishes that I like. And also the scrubs that I like is like more of a thicker consistency where I can like go to town. But it's nice, four ounces for $49 is pretty, pretty steep, to be honest. And then the last thing in here is the Grace and Stella Hot and Cold Gel Bead Eye Mask. I absolutely love these kinds of masks. I'll probably give this one to my mom. I've already been using the one that I got in my PR box. This is just amazing to put in the freezer and then you just put it on top of your eyes and just kind of helps when you have like you just need a downtime or you're not feeling well and also you could actually heat this up and warm it up if you wanted to as well so these are just really nice for relaxation i really enjoyed this and this is 18 dollars next box that we're going to open is my premium one and this one is the bts i wasn't sure if it was like behind the scenes but then somebody was like Somebody wrote in my comments, like, maybe it's back to school, you know, since school just restarted. I'm not sure, but, um, because they only put, like, hashtag boxy BTS. I wasn't, sh you know, like, I never found out what it was. <laughs> Anyways, first thing in here is the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. This is $25. This was actually my choice, and I picked the, the shade for Rose. And it actually has the number four on there. And then these are the shades. So it does come with, I think like two shim, no, three shimmers and three mattes. I really enjoy the quality of this. This is actually what I use to pair with the Rare Beauty. I went ahead and just used the three mattes that are in here and then paired it with the bright green. And I feel like it came together really nicely. And the, I was actually like pleasantly surprised by this. The other Fenty palette was the F Fenty palette. The other Fenty palette that we got back in the day, I don't remember what it's called. It's like the big blue one. That one's just okay quality. I feel like this quality is a lot better than those eyeshadows. And the next thing in here is the Laura Mercier Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. This is a gentle. Um, eye makeup remover and this was actually my other choice and I've always wanted to try this. I've seen a lot of people use this for cut creases. I'll have to see if I <laughs> can use it or not. This is what people use like they just put a cotton tip and then take away the eyeshadow and make the cut crease. I suck at cut creases. I'm not gonna lie. I've been trying to get better at them but to be honest sometimes I feel like weird doing them. I feel like they're overly done and not enough people do like more easier wearable eyeshadow looks let me know let me know what y'all think <laughs> anyways but this was my choice and i'm always down for a good makeup remover and that one's 27 dollars next thing in here is the herbivore botanicals blue tansy resurfacing clarity mask this uh, clarifies your skin has willow bark fruit enzymes aloe vera and blue tansy essential oil this is 48 dollars and it kind of looks a little weird. It looks very watery. I'm not sure. I wonder what it smells like. Ooh. Oh, God, that stinks. <laughs> uh, I'd have to definitely see how I would use this. And um, I don't know. I don't know. The smell kind of puts me off. I'd have to see how long the smell stays in the air. It has like a very strong herbal scent to it. So 
I don't, I don't know. Uh, next thing in here is the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette. This is $38. It's crazy because the day that my box came, I was like, what? I actually picked this as my October choice and I had to go back into the website and see if I could switch my choice and thankfully I was able to switch my choice. I chose a glow recipe instead of this. Uh, but this is the Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette and thank God BoxyCharm gives you more time. It's not like you pick something and then it's locked in forever. You have like a certain amount of days where you can actually go in and change your choice if you need to, which is really nice. But this is what the highlighting palette looks like. Um, it does come with a good variety of shades and I really enjoy it and you guys will actually see me using this as well. The Beauty Bakery is $38. And then the next thing in here is the Complex Culture Beauty Sonic Tea Bar Facial Massager. This is $58. I really enjoy this. I'm gonna show you guys it, but I'm not going to like touch it or anything because I'll probably give it away. I did get this in PR and I love these little tools. This thing is freaking amazing if you want to like really work in your serums, your moisturizers, and also just like drain your lymphatic system. This is a good massager for your skin. Definitely recommend trying it out. I feel like it just does wonders for your skin. It's something so simple, but it does really help. And then the last thing is the Hey Honey Trick or Trick and Treat Berry Lip Balm with Natural Tint. This is $23. This smells really nicely and um, feels nice on the lips. It's just like a moisturizer. And I was kind of like thrown aback a little bit by the shade. I was like, oh, this is going to be too dark. I did try it on and it literally doesn't give any color whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about it. It's literally transparent. So you guys can see there. It doesn't really give like even much of a tint at all. So I actually put on a lipstick on top, but I did try it on and I really do like it. And it has a very um, like light berry scent to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the try-on portion. For the try-on portion, I'm going to start off with the Cap Cosmetics Volume 1. This is actually a duplicate. I got this in my PR, but it is an awesome palette. So this is the one that I got in the PR one, the one, the extra one that I have, I'll probably put in a giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and just dip into Vanilla Bean and Raw and then just tap this off. This is just one of those sponges from Amazon and set my under eye. My under eye is a little crepey today. Um, as you get older, you have like good under eye days and bad ones and today's just a bad one. So yeah, it's just gonna show my age. <laughs> it's gonna show that I'm turning 39 next month. But I really do like these powders. I feel like they work really nicely for setting. And once I put my setting spray and stuff, it just really hydrates as well. And then I haven't set my face, so I'm gonna just use a powder brush and the color sand is actually perfect for my skin tone. I'm around like an NC30, 35. And this powder actually is really, really nice. I like the fact that it's not like fully matte. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's kind of like a satin finish. And then it has these two shades right here. And these, I feel like aren't contour shades. They're more of a bronzier ones just because of how warm tones, they, warm tones, warm tone it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, just dip into both of them, suntan and caramel. And I use this more as like warming up the face than a contour. So here, it just warms up the face. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Give Me Sun. Really nice like warmth to the face. So overall, really nice palette. It is very freaking huge, if you can see right there. And so obviously, I don't feel like this would be like travel friendly, but I do feel like that's perfect for someone for your home, just for yourself, or if you're a makeup artist. The next thing we're gonna dip into is the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey. I actually, it chose this as my October choice. And then once I got it in my not PR box, I had to go back into BoxyCharm and change my choice for next month, which is nice that they still had it open and I was able to switch it out. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into, ooh, I don't even know. I wanna, I'm gonna dip into spoiler alert and a little bit of queen being. So kind of do like a little bit of a bronzy one. And really nice, nice quality right there. I want to see if we can build that up. 
Ooh, so this is really nice. As you can see right there. So you can do like a sheer wash or do more of a beaming. And I like the fact that it has like all kinds of shades. So it has like a goldy peach, a bronze, a pink, and a go like bright white. So you can kind of like mix and match with these and make your own shade. As far as the eyes go, I want to kind of dip a little bit into both of these palettes and see what I can come up with. This one's all shimmers and at least this one has a little bit of mattes. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a pinky wash as the crease shade and then maybe going into this beautiful green out here or maybe this peachy pink. Let's see how this turns <laughs> out. Uh, but both of the palettes look very, very beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into this rose palette for, it's called Four Fenty Beauty, and then this is the rose one. So I'm going to go into the shade Sleep Over, and then just use this as a wash of color all over the crease. So we're going to start light and then go dark. I know that there's some people who do it opposite, but I don't know why it's actually harder for me to blend the opposite way. And I've tried it a few times, but it just, I don't know, it's just not like a cup of tea. The next shade I'm gonna use is this dark pink, or this bright pink one, and this is called Little Miss. And then we're just gonna put that directly in top of the other one and leave the other one on the edge. And sometimes I cut out, but it's basically just blending and blending and blending. The next shade that I'm gonna jump into is Spice Trip, which is right below the other one, the bright pink one. And I'm just gonna use that more on the outer edge and the outer lid and just buff that all together. Okay, now that I've blended and blended and blended, we're gonna go ahead and go into this green shade, hopefully this will just all blend in nicely together. We're praying here. <laughs> okay, I don't know whether I should go in with a brush or my finger. <clears throat> okay, so it seems to be going good on my uh, Sonia G Builder Pro. It seems like it's holding on, so let's, ooh, that is pigmented. Oh, this is so freaking nice. I kind of regret that I didn't buy this when they came out. But to be honest, I, ha I have way too much in my collection already. And with BoxyCharm getting the PR and getting their boxes, you know, I keep accumulating a lot. I give away a lot, but I really want to start doing like get ready with me's on my Instagram and like um, get ready with me posts on my Instagram. And also here on YouTube if you guys like them. Okay, and then I'm just going back in with this brush. Just gonna blend it in a little bit. Before going and finishing my other eye off of camera, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this shade right here as the inner corner. This is called Elevate. And the green, let me show you guys what the green is called. The green is called boost okay so elevates on the inner corner and boost is all over the lid let me just pat off a little bit of that for the under eye i'm going to use these two shades as well i'm going to go in with the pink and then use a little bit of the darker one here on the outer edge and that's just something super simple just going in with the hot pink first and I'm not going all the way into the inner corner because that kind of closes my eye some. So I'm just going in like this. And then I'll probably put a little bit of that Elevate here to just help open up my eye a little bit, yeah. And then and I'm gonna use this tiny little brush by Delium and go into that dark brown and just kind of go on the outer edge a little bit just to kind of tie them together. I'm gonna try this ColourPop gel liner in Wildcat. And, oh, it broke! God, that sucks. Okay, and I'm applying Wildcat to the inner waterline. 
And then I'm gonna do this other eye off the of camera and I'm also going to be applying the MAC lashes that I got. This was actually a choice of mine. These are the 83 Siren Lash. So I'm gonna cut those, apply those as well. Before I finish, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip balm. This is called Trick and Treat by Hey Honey. And it's kind of like a purple. I don't know if it's gonna go well. Let's see how sheer this is. So. It's a real lip balmy. Okay, so this is very, very sheer. No real pigments coming off, like just a sheer tint of it. Not even, you can't hardly even see it. So I'll probably apply a lip product as well and come back and share my final thoughts. For my final thoughts, I have to say I really enjoy both boxes. There aren't really that many duds. I feel like the, the biggest dud for me would be the blue tansy mask just because it stinks really, really bad. Um, so my Lux box, which was version 430, uh, the only one that I don't think I'll use a lot is the defense drops and maybe the body polish. Everything else I really, really liked, like my Rare Beauty that I picked. Also, I picked the MAC the lashes I'm the one who actually picked that as my choice as well they they weren't that great for me but it's okay um, everything else was like really really good really nice products a lot of them are duplicates because of the fact that I do receive PR but if this was just my own box and I didn't receive PR I'd be happy with it also the premium is version 203 and I'll put the total value around here as well and with this one, the only thing would be the Clarity Mask that stinks. Everything else I really enjoy, the Laura Mercier makeup remover, the Fenty that I also picked, um, the Beauty Bakery, like everything else was really, really good. So I really enjoyed both boxes, really felt like I got my money's worth. Let me know what your choices were down below. Um, and hopefully, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this. I know a lot of you guys enjoy watching um, unboxings. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing if you ain't subscribed and want to subscribe want to watch beauty content things like that hit that red button you can also follow me on my social media i do bilingual content both on tiktok and instagram and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys